<coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello again. I'm Bob Weir with another interview of People in the News in North Texas. My guest today is a man who publishes much of the news in North Texas. Max Miller is the owner and publisher of the Cross Timbers Gazette. Thank you for being here, Max. Thank you very much. A visual there, aid. And there's your prop right there, a visual aid. <laughs> and you, you folks out there, you've seen this many times. It's in your mailbox every month. Uh, Max, please begin by telling our viewers something about your background in media. Well, Bob, first of all, I want to thank you for having me. I've been watching your interviews and running your interviews for years on our website, and I can't believe that I'm here sitting in your <laughs> living room. This is pretty awesome. So a great way to start the year. Um, so ever since I was a child growing up in Virginia, I always wanted to be in radio. Uh, so I would sit in front of the stereo when I was a little kid, play the records, look at the newspaper, read news out of the newspaper. Maybe that's why I own one right now. But uh, what happened was uh, my radio career uh, took me to different cities and landed me here in Dallas, Fort Worth back in 2002. Uh, but as the internet was uh, coming uh, into uh, uh, being, I realized that online, everything is local. Uh -huh. If you put up a website, then anybody in the world can see it, but you want to find a niche. And so my niche, as I was working in metro traffic, doing my uh, traffic and stuff, uh, as my career, on the side, I would start these hyper-local websites. And I started one for Indianapolis, uh, Fishers, Indiana, called fishersfind.com. It was just a local website with local news, so I developed a love for local news. When I moved down here to Lantana back in 2002, I started a website called lantanalinks.com. And lantanalinks.com had local news for Lantana. Uh, I got to know the lady who owned the Cross Timbers Gazette, and that's one of the reasons we got together and started uh, working together, and she sold me the newspaper. So it's one of those things where my radio career kind of turned into a uh, career with local news. And it was neat because when I started doing traffic, we always had to focus on different areas of town and to make sure that we relate to the uh, to the listeners to the folks driving into work from different areas and local news is kind of the same way so I worked in radio for 17 years and now I'm in an even older business Wow really well, that, I, I remember Lantana Lynx yeah it was uh, it was making its way out there uh, it was uh, it was spreading uh, during uh, Oh, it must be 15 years, 10, 12 years ago, maybe. So, so I launched that in December of 2003. Yeah, so it would be around 15 years And now, ago. if you go to lantanalinks.com, it takes you to crosstimbersgazette.com. So the website is now our newspaper website. All right, now, you, I think you mentioned, uh, when, when did you buy the Gazette? So I bought the Gazette in 2006. 2006, okay. And uh, how large was the distribution at the time you bought it? So the newspaper was really small back then. Uh, it started out as the Double Oak Gazette back in 1979, just run by volunteers. It didn't grow much over the years. In 2006, we were mailing to about 8,500 households and businesses. Hmm. Now we're going to over 46,000. Wow, boy, that, that is a lot. That's and we couldn't do it without our readers, our advertisers, our contributors. Wow, that's great. And, and you publish from your home in Lantana. I do, I do. Wow. So people ask me, how do you run a newspaper out of your house? Well, with today's technology, it's, it's easy to do that. Um, a long time ago, the Cub Scouts called. They wanted to take a tour of our newspaper. I said, well, it's just me sitting at a desk. <laughs> so Yeah, we used to have the Cub Scouts. When I, when I had the News Connection, we used to have to come in. And, of course, we had the big office, so we'd take them all around. But in your case, you know, it's a small operation, seemingly, because it's in your house. But look what you've done with it. Well, I think what it is, is if we didn't have the community support, you know, I think the cool thing about the Gazette is local lives here, is, is our motto. Right. We live right in the community, we worship here, we send our kids to school here, we, we do everything here. We live, work, and play here. So the Cross Timbers Gazette is Southern Denton County. That's what I like about it. Um, and without all the help that we would have from the community, we'd never be able to get as big as we And have. how many staff members do you have? So we have a two, two editors, one for digital, one for print. We have a salesperson recently hired, Len Michener. We have a lot of, of uh, freelancers, including a graphic artist, Crystal Adams, who's been with us for 11 years, and she does a terrific job. She puts this paper together, and this is a big paper to be putting together every month. And how often do you update the online site? So online, we update it every single day. 
365 days a year. We have a dedicated employee, Mark Smith, who does all of our digital stuff. We realize digital is very important, even though you get this once a month, it's got a lot of great information, you want to know what's happening now. So you can go visit us at crosstimbersgazette.com, Twitter, Facebook, we're updating it every single day. And how many hits do you get about a month? So our website gets over 100,000 unique visitors, over a million page views a month. Wow. That's... So we stay very busy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how about this? The social media, does that play an important role in uh, the redistributing content? Yeah, social media is interesting because it has been a, a blessing to a lot of people, but it also has its downside too. Uh, news travels fast through social media. People want their information now. We want to make sure that information is accurate, so we have to be fast and accurate. Uh, a lot of times when something happens around town, you see social media, people start talking about it, but a lot of times the information is not entirely um, accurate. So what we have to do is make sure that we get it out there fast, but we have to get it out there accurately. So we are working literally around the clock to make sure that we do that. Um, and social media helps as a journalist because when people are talking about something, we want to make sure that we are in that conversation to make sure that we have the facts so people get the facts out there. So let me ask you this. In your opinion, what is the future of print publication? So a lot of people say print is dead. But I don't agree with that. Uh, in the 12 years I've owned the Cross Timbers Gazette, our sales have gone up almost every single year. And I think it's because we remain local, we remain focused on our community. Everything in this newspaper is something that you will learn. It's local content, it's about your community, uh, it is interesting, stuff that you won't get anywhere else. And I think as long as we keep doing that, we're going to have a bright future. Because we mail it to everybody free, they don't have to do anything, they don't have to subscribe, they just get it in their mailbox. I think that's what makes us different as it's far as... It's all advertiser-driven. Yes, and, yeah. and we're 100% advertiser-driven, and it's all local advertising too. So sure. we've had loyal local advertisers in this paper for 20, 30 years. Uh, some of them have been there for that long. And uh, we want to make sure that we give everybody a great value so local businesses can keep advertising with us. And there will always service. be something about holding it in your hand, you know? Yeah. You know like I, I don't like to read books online. I like to hold the book in my hand. And the same thing is with paper. Uh, and, you know, and magazines as well. Magazines are still uh, doing well. I think they're having a comeback. Yeah, you know, I think, I think that the people like to be able to not be distracted when they read. You know, if you're reading something online, you're clicking all over the place. Yeah. Here you can take this with you. It's portable. Anywhere uh, yeah, you want to go. Yeah, you can sit outside and, on a porch and you can lay back and read it, you know. And exactly. You know, and you don't have pop-ups going on all over the place. And I only give you one of these a month because I don't want you to be, uh, you know, drowning in newspapers. Okay. Uh, let me see, working a business from home, it seems like the ideal situation to keep costs down and spend more time with your family. Do you often work in your pajamas? Well, <laughs> truth be known, yes. Uh, I know I, like, I would. <laughs> I like to be comfortable. Yeah. Uh, when I bought the Gazette from LaRue Johnson, uh, who had it for like 20 years before, she ran it out of her house. And so it was small when I bought it. So I said, okay, I'll just run it out of my house. One day I'll get an office. But you know what? I figure, hey, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, you it's know? working. Yeah, that's the right. nice thing is, is that because I work all the time, uh, I can. I won't have to drive to the office. I'm always there, always ready to work. Mm. So, and I enjoy what I do. Obviously, I love what I do. That's one of the things. When people meet me, they know that I just love what I do. I'm very passionate, uh, and I built this this newspaper on relationships. Because if we don't have relationships, you have nothing. Right, and you have to. Uh have a good image in the area when you when you run a newspaper. That's very well. Important. You do. Uh, and do you have any plans to expand into other areas? So people ask me all the time that you know they want the Gazette to go into different areas and stuff. We've expanded a lot in Southern Nitton County, but that's where I plan to stay because this is our home. And if we start putting these all over the place, I think it would dilute our local uh, aspect and would also make us more corporate. We don't want to be like that. I'd rather grow right here in our home. Okay. Well, Max, uh, uh, I see uh, the time has ended, uh, so I get the high side. so fast. <laughs> it did go quickly. Wow. Uh, I want to thank you for being here, Max. And, thank you. And Mom. also, thank you for keeping community residents well informed of what's happening in our orbit on, uh, for, uh, for a long time and continue to do so. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for watching.